Okay. I just thought I'd share with you my latest project, which is using the Nintendo Wii controller to control my mouse on my PC. Okay, to do this you need to pair your Wiimote with your PC. Just press and hold the 1 and 2 buttons on your Wiimote um, to put it in discovery mode and connect with any Bluetooth software. Okay, and once the connection's made you need to run a program called Wii spelled W-I-I-N remote. Um, and now that this is running, it's actually tracking my motion here. It's, it's giving me data. Um, it's giving me a graph showing motion. And this will allow me to do a number of things. I can, I can map the keys to do any function on my computer that I like. So I could use this to navigate through Windows Media Center or create special key maps for a program like Google Earth. But what I found really interesting was you can actually control the mouse with diff three different methods. One of them is to use the accelerometer in the Wiimote. So rotate right and left and backwards and forwards to move it around the screen. And you can also use the nunchuck plugged in here and use the analog stick to move around. But you can also use an infrared sensor um, like I've got set up here. I've just, yeah, I'll show this. Made a little infrared sensor with, um, well, it's just an infrared LED um, and a battery pack with an on and off switch with a magnetic base. I built this a while ago. And that just clips on top of this lamp here, which I use, and I can just sit here and navigate through that. So I'll give you a close up on it actually working. Okay, so like I said, once you've got the Wiimote paired with the computer, you'll be able to see the feedback on the graph there. Hopefully, so move that around and it'll. Yep, and I've got it set up here with an infrared sensor there. And yep, yeah, that that's picking that up. Sorry, I keep saying sensor, infrared LED. And you can see that that is actually tracking the infrared light. I'm a bit close actually. And to enable to enable the cursor, all I have to do is push the trigger on the other side of the Wiimote. And once I've pushed that it will hopefully start moving the cursor. Which it is. Sorry, you can't see that. Yeah. You can see I'm moving that window. And this does work quite well as a good input device. The only reason it's lagging a little bit right now is because the battery is running a bit dead in my infrared LED. But you can see that is working pretty well. And I'll list the programs needed to do this and a brief tutorial on this um, in the notes about the video. But if you have any other questions about it, please email me at willjfergus at gmail.com. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.